guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a panda palette update and i'm really excited about this one a few days ago i was actually really scared that i didn't have that much progress to show you guys but i have i have some amazing progress and i'm really excited for 2021 i am panning my Too Faced Chocolate Bar but you can also say it is my franken palette because i changed it up quite a bit i did upload a franken my panda palette with me or prep it for 2021 so you can see what i put in and what i changed and stuff like that i used uh, some highlighters and i repressed some shades together and added something else into it and stuff like that yeah i will link the video down below where i prepped my palette so you can see that yes i'm trying to finish this off this year i really want it gone so That is what we are trying to do this year. <laughs> I will say I have worn makeup 13, 14 times this month. So it's not a lot, but it is definitely some. I'm really trying to get into a routine and stuff, but it's really hard when your girl won't sleep and you don't have any time during the day to do your makeup. But yes, I'm doing my best and I'm just trying to be a mom. <laughs> I will insert on the screen how many times I have used each shade. I just think it is better for me to write it on the screen, here or here. Please, get. So, let me show you guys where my palette was in the intro compared to now. This is where my palette is now. I'm really excited about this. And as you can see, I have hit two pans in here in January. And one of them I have hit today. This shade is Gilded Ganache. And I mixed that with a little bit of green to make it more green. Because it was very brown and kind of muddy. And I didn't like the shade. So I tried to make it more green. And I do think I have done that, but I have not used it this month. Milk chocolate, I just repressed because it had a lot of pan. I have used that twice, um, so not a lot. My focus shade has definitely been salted caramel. I haven't used that one. I used this quite a bit in my outer corner. Those two shades are the same, but they are a mixture of triple fudge, black forest truffle, uh, semi-sweet and cherry cordial. I have played with the thought about franking this to another kind of color or a different undertone because having two of the same shade really doesn't make sense. So the camel that has definitely been my focus crease shade so I have definitely expanded the pan on that one. Marzipan I have mixed in with some highlighter. That one has a good dip in it now and that is what I have been using on all over my lid. A lot. I do think I can hit pan on that by next update for sure because it's very soft and really pigmented and beautiful. So then we have the pan that I've hit. It is my brow bone highlight shade. That is a mixture of so many shades. Um, nothing from this palette though. And it was a shade that I franken a long time ago. So yeah, I hit pan on that one because I use it. Every single time I wore makeup. Then we have this shade right here, which is a mixture of candied violet and some blue and purple from my panda palette last year and some highlighter. I have used that a few times as well on my lid and I really like that. Amaretto, I have mixed in with some highlighter as well. It is a it was not really that amazing. <laughs> so it is an easy shade to go through because it's not very dark on your lid and it's not very light on your lid so it's kind of average. I do think I will try to put it in my crease when some of the shades are uh, milk chocolate and salt caramel are done because I do think that will be a semi fine crease shade actually. For my inner corner highlight I am solely use it, using this one and um, I'm using it today. I have skipped a few times I believe because I have not used it 13 times but I have uh, somewhere in it and um, hopefully you can see there in the middle. So I really really like that. This is a uh, single shadow from Essence. A beautiful snow, snow white shade for inner corner highlight. The green shade I haven't used at all either. I 
we'll try to uh, focus on the green shades in the springtime, I think. Then we have this one. This is my Franken Brow Powder product. <laughs> um, and I do have pan on that one, and that is the pan that I hit today. I'm really excited about it. I have used it 13 times just as the brow bone highlight because I use those two shades every single time I wear makeup. Then we have this big shade down here, which is a mixer of hazelnut and um, hot chocolate and a little bit of creme brulee before I use the rest up and some highlighter and stuff like that. It is a pretty average uh, coppery shade. It's shiny, it's not really metallic, so it's not like a glittery metallic shade, so it's really average, neutral look. These two shades. These two really remind of each other. This is just a little bit more red. My goal for this month was to incorporate at least one or two shades every single eye look. And I definitely have done that because I use these two shades um, in every eye look. So I kind of hit my goal. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do that, but I did. Otherwise, I have used mostly lid shades from this, I think. I don't think I have used any other lid shades uh, this month, so I have hit my goal of using at least one uh, or two shades from this palette every single eye look. Before I go into the looks that I have worn this month, um, I do think I will set a goal for hitting pan in marzipan and I do think I will make it a goal to hit pan on Essence Snowflake as well, well, the white shade here. At least wear it in every single eye look that I do. Maybe I can expand the pan in uh, Salt to Caramel. Hitting side pan or something like that uh, here on the top will be ideal for me, I think. So these three shades are my focus point this month. I will use these two just as I am now every single time I wear makeup. So I do think that is a goal for February. Yeah, I don't feel like any green yet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for my progress for February. I am. I'm excited to see if I can hit my goals of hidden pan on the white sheet and master pan so if you want to see if i could do that please subscribe down below and i hope you guys are excited for my pan those eyeshadows and my empties for january i am going to film that one of them now and let's see how much i can do before she wakes up because i do think that is soon <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and also my next video please take care bye